hello good day i'm glad you can make it again to this channel um we're starting a series on microsoft visual basic programming using the gui environment we have videos in the console development environment but this time around we'll be using the visual studio uh, the gui development environment okay as your visual studio is opened i guess you can now to open your visual studio all you need to do at this moment is go to file go to file you go to new then you you click on new projects visual studio enables you to even create web applications not just windows or console application so we are, if we are to create a website we'll come to website but this is a project we are creating a windows application so we'll click on it remember in the previous videos we always select the console application first you select the program language you want to use then you also select the the templates the templates you're using so i have still have my visual studios selected but this time around i want a windows form so i click on windows uh this is windows form i click on windows form then i will have this as uh i'll call it projects project 2022 so i click ok once i click ok it, it will be created uh with the templates i'll try my possible best to explain uh the different places before the different environments or the different views or windows uh before we actually venture into programming now as you can see on the screen you have a template a form given uh on the side left hand side of you see data source this is when you are working you when you have something to do with database in your windows application uh, this is for server when you are connected like you are doing you are programming on on the local host so it is connected this has to do with server then this third has to do with the toolbars now most of times i prefer just using comma controls i list it down and most times i love pinning it to pin it here so any control i wish to include on this form i can either click and drop or i can double click and it will appear on the form or i can click and drag so i have three ways to make my controls visible on the form okay now these are the different controls if you need a text box you use the text box if you use a label you need the label if you need the label you use the label and uh, a checkbox uh, you know what a checkbox does true or false uh uh radio button true or false i think there should be radio button here this is radio button i uh, go and fine and this tool t is to give you uh a, like a title in html is to give you an idea of what should be done there okay i'll just make a simple uh, illustration i want to pick a text box so i'll pick a text box i love clicking and dropping i pick a text box then i also come to the right hand side on the right hand side you see solution explorer this solution explorer lists for me all my forms everything all the objects i have in my projects that are listed in this solution explorer right beneath it you see the properties the properties now this properties gives me uh brings out the properties of any control i drop like you see this control and uh, this is 
text box one because it's the first text box I'm dropping. I can see different uh, properties that it has. Uh, the name. This name is not is the name that is the name in bracket is the name that is used for programming uh, that will be identified at the code environment. Why the other name? I think it is name also just label. Okay, it's not on this control. If we have a button, you will see it on the button. It is just for the display. That is text. It's text. I think it's text. So now for uh, ease of identification, we always like to rename our projects our control sorry so i would like to make this form i'll just rename it i'll say this is for hello world let me call it hello world uh, because i want to write a simple program to print hello world yeah i want to do this okay so uh i want the hello world to be printed here so i can do this if I wanted a multi line, I can click here and say multi line. Then I will be able to draw this down. Good. Okay. Now I so wish to change the name. I want to change the name. I'll change it to TXT. This is the conversion that you see. It's TXT, which means for text box. So I will say text box uh, hello or text box name uh, because I'll put a name there. And it will print for me hello world okay good so I have this I just key in this okay let me drop here first let me give this uh, txt inputs good uh, output sorry because I need another one for input where outputs so I have this. So let me pick another text box. I pick another text box. Where is the text box? I pick another text box. I'll call this what? I'll call it TXT input. TXT input. Okay okay now i'll need a button i have the button here i'll call it btn btn world btn hello okay i'll call it btn hello and i don't want that button one to be showing uh come to this was what i was telling you to the text i come to the text and i'll put this i'll say say hello say hello okay now this button it can be colored it can be done different things can be done okay this form i don't want this form one to be showing as well i can change the text here i can process it to a uh, hello world hello world program oh let me just say hello world ham plus okay so I have this uh, if I wish to perform other things I'll perform it but let's just go a little like this uh, as time goes on we'll be unveiling we'll be looking at these controls their properties one after the other okay I want it in a way that when I put a text here I put a name it will tell me hello plus this so if for me to go to the programming environment I just have to what double click I double click on the control or either I double click on the control or I right click on the control and I select the code you take me there now you can see some similarities with the console development environment good now uh, first I'll declare my variable name uh, input name a uh, string 
a string good so input name is what input name is equal to what txt input dot text so i have to put that dot text to show that the the text that is inputted into that field that i need okay so what do i want i want it once it is inputted i click on uh, the button issue what issue has put for me so i have uh txt out dot text is equals to what hello world hi so i'll wrap this up plus plus what plus the input name good that's what i want uh, that's what i want so with this i can run it to test run it let's see how it works okay let's go there so i run it i click on that play likes uh, icon or i click on i press my f5 it runs then okay i can come here and say james i'll just say hello i say hello hi james okay this is very simple i can do my little formatting uh i want a space here i say hi james okay i can do this hi james welcome to this tutorial there there are lots of things to be learned don't end halfway okay so i have this don't end, end halfway okay so this is just my simple code when we started you observe that this text box was on focus reason be, being the text index is zero so all i have to do i have to change this text index here to be zero zero and this text index and uh, tab index sorry to be one to be one okay so now when i run this tab index two so i want this uh sorry this to be one tab index to be one that is the button should be one why the text sorry excuse me why the text the, this will be one why this text box will be two okay so i can run this and when i run it you see the first text box is on focus okay i can say paulina paulina say hello say hello hi paulina welcome to this tutorial there are lots of things to be learned don't have anyway okay so this is just a simple uh tutorial before we end this video we just like to tell you that you can actually do your formatting you can format your text your text display here you can format it i can make this i don't want this to be editable so all i have to do i come to the read only property and make it read only true uh-huh i make it read only true then i go to fonts and i select the different uh options i so wish i can change the color for font color i can change the color so let me assume i want this 
Rockwell. I want it to be of size 12. I want it to be bold. I say okay. I want the color, the font color, that is the color of the text to have this color. So let me just leave this here. You do the other formatting, and then you do the other uh, setting of the properties and say hand plus. Hub. Hand plus hub. Then I say hello. You see this? Hello. Hand plus hub. Okay. So this is just a simple tutorial introducing you to VB .net, the GUI that the graphic user interface programming environment in the next tutorial we will talk I will give an example of how to use this to calculate how to perform some calculation and how to even uh, do uh, two pro we'll do two projects actually we'll make a calculation and we'll also make a kind of a grade thank you very much